we are here today uh, to talk about 2022, and. I'm hoping that my look at 2022 with with you with 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 um, us now. Hold on, I'm getting something on my screen that I do not need to know. Um, just get rid of that. Okay. Um, I I hope that this is a bit of a unique take because normally when we look ahead to a year, we want to look at the retrogrades and the eclipses and the ingresses and your aspects of the year and we will be doing some of that but i have a particular um lean that i would like to um um lean into and um and and i hope that what it does is it changes a little bit about how we look at um at astrology um in general um uh and the title of this of course is it ain't over till it's over looking ahead to 2022 and the lingering Saturn Uranus square dance. So before we jump into uh, the material itself, there's a, well, before we jump into charts, there were a lot of charts to look at today. Um, there's a few things that I would like to touch base on that for me are kind of like assumptions or um, things that I think have to set the, the ground for us. First of all, Following the exact dates of a transit can be misleading. Um, this is true whether we're doing natal astrology or um, mundane astrology. And um, I actually call it because the word mundane comes from a Latin word mundus, which is world. Um, I actually like to call this world astrology or world transits. Um, and of course, in world transits, we're typically looking at the um, slower moving planets um, in order to get a sense of how the rhythms are established that in fact if we only looked at the faster moving planets we wouldn't get the um, we wouldn't see what's important um, but in even in a natal chart um, let's say someone is having a um, let's say a transiting Saturn um, squaring their natal sun now we can have an exact date for that or in some cases because of a direct retrograde direct there can be three dates to that and sometimes and i certainly have my list of experiences in my own life sometimes the date of a transit is kapow the exact date something happens that's just i mean it, it's you, you can't ignore the fact that it was the exact date and this is what happened other times however um, we can get the strongest effects from a transit weeks or even months before or weeks or even months after. And and here is where um, reading an ephemeris or an ephemeris, remember those? Those are books. Um, reading an ephemeris or using a computer program to give you the dates of a transit can be misleading. And so this is where we're going to um, spend a little bit of time um today because i think that it's it's very easy to be misled about what's important in 2022 for some of you who actually follow my work you know that um as uh someone who uh has been bit oh 40 years ago or more by the quantum bug that in the world of subatomic particles, um, uh, things are both particles and waves, that there's no such thing as a particle in the subatomic realm. A particle is what we see when waves intersect. And without doing the deeper dive, and I have many, many lectures on this topic on, online and even in the ESAR library, um, but it's important to understand that when we're looking at these kinds of repetitive cycles in history, it's important to remember that planets are not just particles, even though we see them. And when I say particles, they're big particles. Um, um, I call them BFPs, big fucking particles. <laughs> but they're still particles. The moon, you look up, you see the moon, it's a particle. You see Saturn with its rings, it's a particle. But the fact of the matter is that the moon is a 13 times a year cycle. Saturn is roughly a three times a century cycle. These are waves. 
um, Pluto, um, basically Pluto's wave beats four times in a millennium. And so these, the idea as planets as waves is really important as we look at the movement um, of, um, of the planets through history. The next thing I want to just mention before we get into the material, the real material, is that when we're looking at cycles, they have no beginning and they have no ending. A circle, a cycle goes round and round and round. Um, if you look at a particular planetary cycle, let's say the Saturn-Pluto cycle, which um, I call Walt's time for civilization. Why? Because there's three beats a century. You know, there's conjunction, um, one, two three, and then a new century, one, two, three, like a waltz. And if you're looking at the conjunctions and oppositions, it's then one and two and three, and where the ends are the oppositions. But the point is, is, is that we can look at a Saturn-Pluto conjunction like the one that we just had last year, um, uh, um, yeah, in January of 2020. Um, that's, that's like two years ago. Oh, my God. Um, <clears throat> Or we can look back further to the um, Saturn-Pluto conjunctions in uh, 1947 or 1914 or going back, 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 back. And we can see patterns of rising and falling issues. But the thing is, is that we can't ever find the initial seed um, we can go to conjunctions because like a new moon, when any planetary cycle has its conjunction, that's the beginning of that particular phase. But there's always a previous conjunction and a previous conjunction. So it's important to understand that when we're looking at history, even if the history we're looking at is the year ahead, because that will soon become history, that cycles have no beginnings or endings. Another thing I just want to mention, it's something that I've written about in the Mountain Astrologer and certainly talked about, is this idea of cosmic feedback loops and how they change everything. Astrology, make no mistake about it, astrology is not what it used to be. Um, it, you know, if you go back, um, oh, let's say to the um, uh, 1812, 1820, um, Uranus, so it was a Uranus-Pluto um, time. And, um, you know, you could have been alive and living in London and not know about what was going on in Rome or Berlin. And yet there are times when things all over the planet pop. And with the advent of cell phones with video recorders, what happens is that when we get to these intense moments in history, um, things like the World Trade Tower bombing, um, or um, the Arab Spring and um, the events that occurred in Tahir, um, you know, Square um, in in Cairo, or um, or things popping into consciousness um, um, like the um, the social action um, around the murder of George Floyd and or um, the events in Ferguson. Um, what happens? It, it used to be that those events would happen and fade, fade into the past, but now what happens? is that every time those issues get re-stimulated, and I'm going to suggest that they get re-stimulated when planets reform or come into contact with the planets that created or were um, generating around the original event, that what happens is that every cell phone footage that was taken comes back. It comes back again and again, and it's almost like um, uh, going to a Grateful Dead concert where there's reverberation because the feedback is so great. And the feedback actually distorts the image, but it actually empowers it. And so I think what we we've, don't even realize it, that we've moved into a new place astrologically because we have this technology or these technologies even going back to the Uranus-Pluto in the mid-60s, because there was music that codified it that became kind of the tribal drumbeat of the mid-60s, that those songs and that music kind of kept that energy going um, rather than it just fading off into the past. So this idea of cosmic feedback loops, I think, is an intriguing thing that we're not going to dig deeper on right now, but I'm mentioning it because it has relevance to um, the charts that we'll be looking at because it's my contention 
that we live in a world now where we where where we record so much of what happens at these heightened moments of of transits that then when the lesser moments happen the heightened ones come back into being they're played again on every news station they make another round virally on youtube or 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 whatever